Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me tmaso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you find on any of our platforms. Please reach out to me directly. I am tmaso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a watch originally launched in 2003 and built in very few examples. Only 31 examples of the Debetun DB12 calendar chronograph were ever made, of which 17 were the rose gold model you see right here. So a very scarce watch from the early days of Debetun, back when the dials tend to be solid, the cases tend to be round, the design tend to be very traditionally inspired, and for the most part, the company was using customer calibers that were finished and tuned in-house to a very very high standard. This was also the very beginning of display case backs on Debitune watches as the first few series actually had solid case backs. This DB12 is 42 millimeters in rose gold, 13.3 millimeters thick from lug tip to lug tip. It's a compact 46 millimeters across the wrist with a 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. When you throw the watch on the wrist, you can see that it is substantial, but not oversized. It's actually quite narrow across the wrist, and you can see that well in this down the barrel shot where the lugs are nowhere near the edge of my wrist. I would argue that this watch is suitable for a wrist probably of 15 centimeters circumference if your wrist is perfectly flat across the top. Otherwise, I would say that you cannot go wrong with a 16 centimeter circumference wrist when wearing this watch. And the timepiece has a wonderful solidity and substance to it. As you can appreciate, it's nearly a lugless case as the lugs barely project beyond the end of the case. And then we have a high grade strap of large rectangular scale alligator leather and a semi-gloss finish. We have a sheer cut side monotone stitch. And on the bottom, small round scale alligator leather. Gator on both sides is a higher grade of strap. Calf on the bottom is cheaper, but also degrades faster. This is a longer wearing strap for more money, but it is a Debitun factory strap, and this watch is worth the expense. You can also see the curved spring bars are used so that the strap can be cinched up against the side of the case with these short lugs, and yet there's still no impediment to the degrees of motion of the strap. We've got a buckle, a lovely one, as you can see, satinated and polished. Debitune watches feature model-specific buckles. So this has a very traditional case. This is a very traditional buckle. They're a little bit more extravagant on the DB27s and 28s. Now, one element of these early watches that has endured to the present day, arguably the only element, these Ogival or bullet tip lugs. You can see a small vestige of this on the 25s, 27s, and the 28s. The case is very simple, though you can see the lugs have a very subtle fluting. See how they're stepped out? There's sort of a soft crease in the side of the case, so they're not perfectly integrated Calatrava style. There's a little bit of a separate profile to the lug bodies. And then we have a faceted and knurled crown. We have oval chronograph pushers. We have a little trigger adjuster, a little dimple adjuster for the month, and then a dial with a lovely sort of vague or wave pattern at center, and then a dental pattern outboard of that. Sunken sub-registers for running seconds and chronograph minutes. You can see this is an unconventional combination of a double-digit date and a month, and then we have leaf-style hands, fired blue, and we have a sort of alpha hand for the seconds and a lancet hand for the chronograph seconds. It's a very traditional looking watch. David Zanetta was the co-founder of Debitune alongside Denis Flageolet back in 2002, and Zanetta drew heavily from his career as a vintage watch dealer to design these original Debitune timepieces, which is why, especially compared to later production, these feel very much like they're drawn from the classical mid-century, 20th century tradition of dress watch design, maybe even a little bit from the pocket watch era. As mentioned earlier, the first Debitune timepieces before 2004 used customer calibers, often elaborately finished to high horology standards. So you are looking at a Venus 175. It's a manual wind. Debitune rates this at 30 hours power reserve. A standard Venus 175 is 45. Some of that power reserve is lost driving the calendar complication, but I believe Debitune is probably a little too conservative. Let's say the power reserve is actually between 35 and 40 hours. It's a 
2.5 hertz beat rate, so 18,000 vibrations per hour. We do have an overcoil hairspring, which is excellent because it means that we have concentric breathing of the hairspring in any physical orientation of the watch, which makes for good timekeeping. It's a 25 joule movement. You can appreciate that all the elements, both steel and brass, have been beautifully finished. We have fire blued screws. You could see that there are polished locating pegs to help locate some of these bridges, like the escape wheel bridge. Or I should say that's the lever bridge on the base plate. The chronograph bridge has been striped across its top, and the beveling on the sides is really quite elaborate. You can see how broad and mirrored that is. All of the springs have been beveled on their sides and satinated on their tops, and the same is true of the chronograph components. It is, of course, a column wheel lateral clutch chronograph with outstanding column wheel feel and sound. You can see how beautifully elongated and decorated these springs are for the chronograph system. And then, again, these steel parts, the hammers, the levers, the clutch, they're satinated on their top and they're mirrored on their sides, which is very difficult to do with steel. That's a difficult thing to accomplish as steel is a very hard material. We also have a modification in the form of a black polished swan's neck fine adjustment mechanism. All of this water resistant to 30 meters, so not an aquatic watch, but secured against splashes or rain. An outstanding example of the way Debitoon was back in an era when the company made dozens, not hundreds of watches per year. A true vintage piece by modern standards. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.